Well, Heidi fucking ho, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of The Serial Killer. I am your resident serial killer, here to kill another box of cereal. And today's cereal is extra special, okay? We have a cereal that is banking on nostalgia. I love nostalgia. I wish they put nostalgia in a jar, okay? Nostalgia in a jar, just like cookie butter or peanut butter that you could just spread on some nice toast. And then you just take a big fat bite and wax poetically about days gone by. The 90s was a wonderful time for kid snacking. We had all sorts of wonderful treats and treasures. Remember snack wall cakes? We had those. Gushers, fruit by the foot, fruit roll-ups. But there was one tricky little treat that all the little kids on the block loved to eat. It was an activity. It wasn't just food. It was an activity. You had to peel the lid back. You had to take the cookie. You had to dunk it into the icing. And you had to take a big bite. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me make it a little bit more simple for you. Dunkaroos. That's right, boys and girls. If it's after school and you need a snack or a quick sugar rush during lunchtime break, there was no better way to get it than a nice, big, fat box of Dunkaroos. And now, the corporate executives that be decided to transpond it into cereal form. Makes sense to me. When I look at this cereal crisp, it reminds me very much of Cookie Crisp. Remember Cookie Crisp? Oh crap, this is bullshit. I can't do this act. You know, I'm trying to start, I'm, I'm trying to do a new gimmick and it's just not, I don't know, I can't keep up that character. Um, it's not working out. It's not working out. I'll, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. I'm just trying to change it up a little bit. It's just not working. I'm, I'm the serial killer. This is what I do. I kill cereal. So yeah, as I was saying, the 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 design of the cereal is very reminiscent of Cookie Crisp, and if you remember. Uh, Cookie Crisp was a cereal where you had the, uh, I think he was a dog and he was a criminal and he would run away and always try to get the Cookie Crisp and you always get arrested because crime doesn't pay. In this case, they're not using the cartoon kangaroo mascot, maybe because it's culturally insensitive to Australians in this day and age, I don't know, uh, but he is, he is gone. On the back of the box, which is really cool, they have a, that was then and this is now, because as we said in the last episode, when you didn't have your cell phone and you needed something to read, you just turned the box over and read what was ever on the back. And it shows you how technology has changed. What's funny about all of these things is that every single one of them fits on a phone. So the phone that I'm shooting this with would have supplanted every single one of these. Supplanted a word? So the very device that I am shooting this video with would eventually take over for every single one of these things right here. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Gonna save that box for sure. Let's just take a quick look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. So this shows you 1992 technology versus uh, 2021 technology. Cell phones were a brick in your hand and now it's a supercomputer in your pocket. Watching movies was renting a VHS tape versus streaming on every device. Sharing photos, photos from a disposable camera and now it's instant uploads. Music, making mixtapes and buying CDs. That was 1992 and now it's playlists at your fingertips. Texting, that used to be secret pager codes. That's right, you'd have to like, you know, to make hello, you'd have to uh, dial numbers or you could make it boobies. <laughs> boobies. Uh, now it's just talking without using words. And of course, video games, you'd have to hang out at the arcade and pump quarters into these big machines. And now you can just hang out online, even on your phone and play a video game. It's amazing how technology has changed, right? It's changed everything. Oh. It's got a nice little vanilla hint to it. I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of like a birthday cake sort of situation, right? Dry taste test. Not bad, not bad. Once again, you can tell that this cereal really shines when it's in the milk. That's the way it works. 
Board in, board in, board in, board in, board in. We are back again with the Planet Oak. You can't go wrong with it. It's extra creamy. Give it a little shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Ready for the pour? Death to soggy cereal. Death to soggy cereal. Death to all cereal. <laughs> little shaky there. Okay, there we go. Got a nice, that was a nice pour. All right, it's time for that first bite. Mostly, um, so it's got a nice vanilla flavor that sort of finishes like a birthday cake. I bet this milk would taste really great after you're done with the cereal, especially because it's oat milk and it's not super gross real milk. It could use a slightly stronger vanilla flavor. It's not overwhelmingly sweet, which I like. I don't like cereals that just pack in the sweetness to overcompensate, so that's good. One thing for sure is the shelf life in the milk is very, very short. You gotta just work your way through a bowl quickly or else you're gonna be stuck with that dreaded soggy cereal. Overall, I'm gonna give this bad boy 7.5 out of 10. Okay, we'll see you next time, kids, when I don't do a stupid, weird, annoying voice. Cheerio. You know what they say, just be yourself.